for you. Hi, it's Dr. Robinson here on showing people how to navigate slides, especially when the slides are incredibly long. Uh, so let's talk about our areas first. Um, slightly different terminology in slides versus PowerPoint. So the canvas is the largest area and by default that is where we always land. So if I tab, we will be in the canvas. Day five. Okay, and it reads basically the information. Unit six dash week four money matters. How do we use? Okay, money? that is the canvas. But let's say the student has already been in here for a while and needs to go down to many slides. You could do page down here, absolutely. But what uh, could also be easier is going to the film strip, which is on the left hand side. It does look like a film strip, and that is done with. Alt Control Shift F. Let's do that. Alt Control Shift F. Three view horizontal slide one title slide one okay. of twenty. The move through expand type one of twenty. That's a lot of slides. Let's say I have to go down to number five so they can just down arrow four times. Slide 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 five title okay. body has speaker notes. And and it says has speaker notes. Any slide that has speaker notes, you absolutely want to go to. Uh, in general, these slides are not that accessible because there are so many graphics. But if they have speaker notes, that is what we want to access. We are in the film strip. We need to go down to the speaker notes. Uh, if you're in your canvas, this keystroke is still the same. It's Control Alt Shift S. So I'm going to hold that down. Alt Control Shift S. And for whatever reason, it takes twice for me because I'm recording. Alt Control Shift S. Document Content Edit. Type and Text. Speaker Notes Enter. Text Selection. Okay, and uh, an insert up arrow always works really smoothly. But once again, I may have conflict with my recording uh, software, so let's just do sh insert up arrow. Display the word dash building card. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 I, I, e, Excellent. Y, e, e, y, a, e, a, I, a. What's also nice is all of these sounds read perfectly on the Braille display. Also, so let's go ahead and go back up to the canvas. Control Alt Shift S. Excuse me, C C for canvas. Alt Control Shift C. Copy format. Okay, copied format, of course, that's not correct, so we're going to try that again. Sit on Control, Alt, and Shift, and let's go ahead and do C for Canvas. Alt, Control, Shift, C. And it doesn't want to do it. Let's try it again. Alt, Control, Shift, C, Canvas, read only. Okay, and once again, it shouldn't take that many commands with your student because, of course, they're not going to be recording this, but it does if you're recording because a lot of these commands are used in my recording software also. Okay, let's tab. Three view horizontal, one of 31, to skip activity. Sound fluency. Hi. Okay, and uh, once again, uh, it's it's not smooth. It popped eyed. It's not in a smooth table. It doesn't give the feedback. So truly, in the canvas, you want to avoid the canvas. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and go back to the film strip and show how you can quickly move at great distances and details. So Control Alt Shift F. For film strip. Oh, control shift F, slide five, has deeper notes. Okay. Preview horizontal. And now I'm on slide five. Now let's say I want to do control end because I was almost done. So control and end, E N D. Slide 20, title slide. And now I'm on slide 20. Now this is also a perfect example. These are spelling words. Uh, this is not accessible to a blind student. Uh, but it is if they go to the speaker notes and then of course they can just do their spelling words. It's do a new slide. Row five, column, row one, column, one, wake. Control, Control M. M. Preview horizontal. Slide twenty one. Title slide. Application key. Context menu. To navigate. Press up or down arrow. Cut and and apply and layout. Shift, shift, apply layout table. And I would go down to Section, title and body. Title and body. Enter. Enter. Menu. Frame. Dot. Character. Two zero three two S P E L I L O R C S. Okay, and escape, escape. Three, three, character eight. Okay, and after this child studied them, then someone's going to have to actually give them the words uh, to them. But that's one way to do it. Uh, okay, and that's how you can navigate slides. And of course, if you need to go to the menus, Alt F goes to file. Alt F menu file one of eleven. And they can share their information right here. Escape. Okay, Leave and menu, escape. Frame, document, document, Alt E entry, Alt D, menu, to the edit box. To move through items, press left or right arrow. Escape. Okay. Leave menu, Alt frame, I. Alt I. Menu. Insert. To left. insert. Escape. Leave menu. Alt frame, O. Document, Alt O. To format. Alt O. 
Yep, and just love how that doesn't work. Alt Shift O menu format. Okay, now I added a Shift Alt O does work, but once again, I'm uh, video recording this and it conflicts with my recorder, so Alt O should work fine. But if it doesn't, Shift just happens to give it a little more push. Escape. H of course takes you to anything that you need. Uh, anyway, so that is how you navigate your page, and you can also. Um, going to, I'm going to show you Control alt shift p uh, which is HTML, and it will uh, read through all of what is accessible on here. Um, but it's going to do a lot of repeating, which can be pretty annoying. I'm going to go ahead and do insert down arrow. Hello, dash 6.4, money matters, G100, dash Google, slide one article, slide content region, unit 6, dash week 4, money matters, how do we use money? Day 5. Slide content, slide one article in, slide two article, slide content region, day five. And you can see how much repeating it does. Slide content region in. And of course, the other Wait. slide was a total image, so of course the child can't even read that. But that is another option for you. Okay, so that is how you do slides.